up, doll collectors, hobbyists, fab some besties. Now that we have stairs, many of you wanna know, where do they go? At the moment, nowhere. So let's do something about that. To put one of our corner rooms safely on top, I think we're gonna need at least three supporting walls underneath. Or a support beam, that would work too. Let's try for the beam, because I feel like it might be less work. I ordered more balsa wood from Amazon, but I was sent basswood, which might work out because it is a little stronger. However, it is also more difficult to cut. I might need to up my tools game in the future, but we were able to cut a few boards. This wood is 1 8 inch thick, I cut one by 12 inch strips. I stack and glue together four. Since my walls are 14 inches and my beam is only 12, I make a small box to make up the difference in height. I left the bottom open and I fill it with hot glue for weight. Once cooled, glue the two pieces together to make a support beam. And once it's dry, we can paint it. While waiting, Let's work on the next floor. I have three wooden panels that measure 11 inches by 14, roughly. I use a Dremel to cut out a rectangle. I found some scraps of balsa wood. I cut a few half inch strips, one that's 3 8 and a few that are 1 8 I paint them white along with the edge around the cutout. Cut a piece of clear plastic to glue over the opening. Glue the wood strips around the edges and across the center. Take the other two boards and glue together the corner room. While waiting for it to dry, let's decide on a bed. I was thinking maybe our old IKEA bed. However, it is a little large for this space. This bed is about seven by 11 inches. I don't have a problem with the beds being a little undersized. So I'm going to scale it down a little by taking a little off the bottom and moving up the footboard. And I pretty much took the whole thing apart and shortened the sides as well. Then put it back together to get a six by 10 inch bed. Yes, that means our doll's feet will hang over the edge a little, but they can always just bend their knees. Cut and glue foam board to make a tray, flip it over, cover the top with felt, and fabric to make a mattress that we can set into the bed. Let's check on our room. The window is looking pretty good. I plan on doing magnetic wallpaper, so I'm just gonna paint what I need to, which is the sides, the bottom, since it will be the ceiling for the room underneath. Let's paint the column we made earlier, the wall with the window, and half inch strips of wood. Let's go ahead and paint the lower half of this wall. I went ahead and painted the whole wall. Cover the floor with contact paper. I just covered the top and left the sides white. I use a piece of paper to make a pattern of the side wall. Use it as a pattern to cut magnetic paper for the top of the wall. Glue on the wooden strips on the floor and under the magnetic paper. Add our magnetic wallpaper to finish our corner room. If you would like to know more about our magnetic wallpaper, check out our DIY magnetic wallpaper video. Let's bring in our bed. We can place it in the center of this wall. We could probably get it this way. Nah, the bottom of the window stops that. So it's gotta go this way. And I think I'm gonna put it against the wall just to free up some more of the floor space. And now we might have a little space for a nightstand. I have a little over three inches to work with. I cut two three inch squares. I cut three rectangles to glue around the edges. I use one eighth sticks to bridge the seams, then trim them down. I take the other square and add about a half inch underneath making a small platform. I cut a one inch piece and I'm just gonna glue it right here. Glue the small platform underneath. 
I glue another piece on top just to clean it up. I'm gonna glue a small rectangle onto the front for a faux drawer. Paint it if you like. I cut a square of foam board, cut a small piece of felt to go on top, cover it with fabric, gluing it on the bottom. To make a no-sew cushion, I put it in the bottom of the nightstand. I add a pin to the front to be a knob for our faux drawer. Completing our nightstand that also functions as a doggy bed. Let's place it right next to the bed. I made some bedding. We have a sheet and a comforter. I'm gonna just wrap the top of the sheet around the top of the comforter, then place it on the bed. Let's add a body pillow, two standard pillows, two decorative pillows, and a little blanket across the bottom of the bed. All right, we got a nice little fall vibe. Let's add some warm fairy lights across the top. I twisted them around push pins and hide the battery pack behind the wall. I used a little tape to hold it in place so I can still remove it and change the batteries when needed. It's giving our room a nice little glow. Cut a piece of foam board. I make sure it can fit above the bed. Lightly trace around it on a piece of paper. Lightly sketch a design. I'm gonna go with some vases. Then I just start coloring it in with paint. I used cream, a light yellow, then orange, light brown, and golden yellow. Where they overlap, I just mix the two adjacent colors together. Then I go over the leaf with a brownish green. Allow it to dry. While waiting for it to dry, I paint a few skinny sticks black for the frame. This is good. I cut around it, glue it onto the foam board, then cut and glue the skinny sticks around the edge to make paintings for our room. I attach a magnet to the back. I got some new magnets and these are pretty strong. I can just place them right onto the wall since our walls are magnetic which was the original plan when we started using magnetic wallpaper. Let's add one of our lamps. From a previous video, I have some artificial leaves that are a little large for this scale, so I'm just going to cut them and shape them to look like smaller leaves. Take a small piece of elastic ribbon cord embroidery floss and tie a loop on the ends. Glue the leaves onto the cord to make a garland. Loop the circles over the ends of the headboard to add a little fall decor to the headboard. I think we need to add a little something to this window. I got a wooden dowel. I cut it to be a little longer than the window. I wonder if we can hang it with magnets. So I'm gonna glue a magnet to the back on both ends place it above the window and add another magnet on the back. And it's staying up there. On a piece of paper, let's draw a few leaves, cut them out, glue them into a bead, add a little wire. I'm just gonna glue it underneath, twist the wire at the top, bend it to make a hook, trim off the excess, then hang it onto the curtain rod. I know this curtain rod has a weight capacity since it's just hung with magnets, but I want to add a few more random things like some keys, maybe a jar. Completing our room. Add a small light to the lamp. I like to use button lights and balloon lights from Amazon. Let's add a few of our printable books to the nightstand completing our room. Look at the glow. Our little room has a nice fall aesthetic and now we need to place it at the top of the stairs. Here is our bottom floor. We have the front door and our stairs. We also have the pillar that we made for support. Let's place the room upstairs very carefully. Ah, 
All right, we have an upstairs. It is staying up there without the support, but I don't feel comfortable with that. So we're gonna use it. This is pretty tall and it's kind of dark under here. So I'm gonna add a tap light for a ceiling light. Because we included the nightstand, we can't have our stairs going up at this corner. So we're just gonna have to move them over to about the center, creating a hallway. But now we don't have enough space for our sofa. So we'll need another room for that. But we just added another room to our dollhouse that we are building one corner at a time. And all the pieces can be separated for easy storage. Thank you for joining us while we added an upstairs with a fall aesthetic. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at my froggy stuff, the frog vlog, and Bella of my froggy stuff. And we will see you next time.